In this video, we're going to talk about Substance 3D and we're going to see uh, what it consists of and what are their software that are inside this collection. And we're going to see how we can download it and install it. First of all, you have many different ways you can download it and install it. You can download free trials, you can download for students and t shirt licenses, you can download um, in a monthly fashion or annual, and you can use it like for a limited time. So let's get started and uh, let's start from the beginning here. I'm just gonna show you everything step by step. So uh, what you can do is just search in Google. If you wanna be precise, you can search for not only Substance, but also Substance 3D and Collection because this is a collection. It's not just one single software, but it's an entire suite, a package that contains uh, different software inside. So if you look for this, you can just click here and get in the Adobe website. This is where you, you're gonna get it. And you'll need also Creative Cloud and an account, of course, Adobe account to download any of their software. So, um, well, you'll find other information, but let's just jump into the Creative uh, Cloud website here. And right now, you, you can also search it in the products up there. And right now, this is uh, in, um, in Italian, but you, you will find it in your own language. This is just a, a quick tour, so you don't really need to understand Everything here, just you know, where to get the, the 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 software. So, to get the software, you always find this blue button, which is to buy or to try. This uh, white one will be to try, and all the prices and everything. Now, if we go down here, we can see that this is a collection of five software and one, uh, let's say, app or connection to the assets that you can get from the web. And let's see what these uh, software are. And well, actually, let me try to like reload the page and or just you know access again. And yeah, there you go. So we can go in uh, English version. So it's better for you. Now you see here that we have um, these five different software. Let's go down here. The first one that is displayed is Substance 3D Painter. Now this is probably the most important, the most popular and probably the one that you're looking for. This is for painting in a really advanced fashion, in a really like advanced level. So you can paint layers, like if you're working Photoshop, you can uh, paint overlapping layers, you can change like uh, filters and effects, and you can create really realistic materials with this using different maps and like working on the uh, brightness or on the roughness or uh, the glossiness and so on. And this is to create PBR materials, so physically based render materials. And that's the, again, the, the probably the most important one. Then you have Substance 3D Sample, which is kind of smaller, and it's just a photogrammetry app. So basically, you, you take pictures of an object in the real world, and it's going to recreate it in the 3D world. Now, photogrammetry is not as clean and precise and neat as the uh, modeling, the, the standard modeling but it can be used for your 3D scenes. So that's probably another interesting uh, app that uh, is um, useful to see. And then we have the Stager, so Substance 3D Stager. This was previously called Adobe Dimension, and this is to create uh, an entire scene in terms of like assembly, uh, and a scene with different objects, and then putting the lights. And uh, we have the materials, of course, created probably with Substance Painter or imported from other uh, resources and then we create the 3D scene and the rendering so this is more similar like to V-Ray or you know those uh, renderings like Octane or uh, Corona or Redshift and so on and then you have Substance 3D Designer this is to create more complex materials using uh, patterns and uh, image filters, lights and it's a node based workflow so it's kind of a little bit more complex but also pretty interesting as well and you can see here this is the texture here that has been used as a displacement so we're still working with materials and textures 3d modeler now this is a new tool kind of kind of a new tool and remember that this is a collection that is kind of always updating and it's experimental and uh, evolving uh, um, year by year so things could change and things could also grow bigger and better like you know, this is a, a, a tool that can help you to create your 3D models. This was not possible like a few years ago in Substance, but now it's possible. So this is similar like to ZBrush 
or Blender, so we can actually model and also you can sculpt kind of a, with a natural feeling, like with clay, working with clay. And so it's a organic modeling, but you can see also you can create like some shapes and you can, if you're good in uh, sculpting, also in real life, you can create really anything with this. And again, some alternatives could be uh, ZBrush to create like organic models, really detailed models of uh, characters and, uh, you know, fictional characters, real characters, uh, cartoons like characters, but also like objects, props and rocks and whatever. The alternative also it's Mudbox for um, Autodesk. And also this can be used for not only for sculpting, but also for painting in 3D, which is the thing that we're going to do mostly in the 3D painter and also in other uh, applications. And Blender also can be used for uh, modeling, sculpting, painting in 3D and for rendering, creating lives and many, many more things. So Blender is definitely a good starting point for for many people and you find also these courses in the channel if you're interested also cinema 4d has uh, rendering and uh, animation and uh, lights and modeling sculpting and so on so um let's go back here there you go and that's the english version so and then we have the assets so the assets uh, it's kind of a library where you can get materials, textures, and all the stuff that Substance will uh, give to you to to become more expert. And everything else here, you'll find the information on the website. You can see there is a free version for students and teachers, and then there is a like a monthly version and then an annual version that you can uh, buy. It's not expensive, so you can or you can just try free with a limited time. Now, uh, this was to explain the general collection, but uh, then if you want to know more about all the software, you could just go in the pages here and see what they do and have like some uh, images that will showcase the various uh, software. So this was Painter, and again, probably the most important and most popular. This is photogrammetry here to get models, textures again, materials. And this is the designer when you work with nodes and create more parametric um, design. And here you have the stager when you get the some shapes and you get the lights and you can render everything out. And finally, this is the modeler where you can sculpt using also VR. You can use virtual reality, uh, augmented reality and so on. If you click on buy or try the, the substance collection, uh, it's going to ask you to open the Creative Cloud uh, app. So you can uh, download and install the app if you didn't already. Usually when you use any of the Adobe software, you would have the, the Creative Cloud. So uh, you, you need to have an account. You need to download Creative Cloud. And from here, you can manage everything. This is a management software or app that will let you manage all your uh, Adobe software. Last slide here of this presentation. I want to talk about Armor Paint. Now, Armor Paint is an open source software. You can download it and install it and use it uh, completely for free, or you can, you know, buy it and donate, whatever. And this is similar to Substance Painter. Of course, Substance Painter is bigger and better and has more tools and features and libraries and assets. But if you want a cheaper uh, alternative, you can get to Armor Paint and you'll find also some videos in the channel. Now, uh, this is the Creative Cloud desktop app. So I already downloaded, installed it, and also you can see here that I already downloaded Substance 3D Painter and Substance 3D Sampler. Now to do this, you need to buy them first, or you need to choose a version if you want trial version, free version, or student version and teacher version. Once you have that here in the panel, you will find them here. And you can also search for other uh, apps here and go to the uh, stock and marketplace, or you can go here the apps, see all the apps. And if I click here, 3D ER, uh, we see that um, we have um, the, the, the package here of Substance. So I've already downloaded 3D Painter, so you can see I can open it. For the others, I just need to install them from here. So I've already downloaded actually a, a sampler and also designer. So I like this uh, right here to show all the apps, so I can select them and I can try them, I can buy them, 
I can install them. Now some of these software will be available free for um, your package that you are buying. For example, this one here, Fresco, is uh, one of the possible uh, software I can use right now thanks to the uh, Substance Collection. Now what I want to do is download the Substance 3D Stager, for example, so I click on Install and that's going to start downloading and then installing. All I need to do now is to wait and then I can continue also, for example, here with the 3D model, I can click on Install and again, this is now in Italian right now, so don't worry, the ones that you, you, you will install will be in your own language. So just click here and wait for the installation process. Once it's ready, you're just gonna find them right here on the top. These are the installed applications right now. And once it's installed, I, think I can click on open and it's just gonna open up the software. So if I click on here, Substance 3D Painter, I'm gonna open up Substance 3D Painter. And there is also a way to change the language inside the application. So I'm just gonna open it right now just to show you that there you go. We have now English uh, interface and uh, you have also a home screen when you can get to tutorials, online documentation, you can start painting right away. You can reach the Adobe website, the forums, and you also can get the community assets. Now you can also check this not to show this again or just close it and it's going to reopen next time you're going to open up the software. Now this is just one of the collection, it's 3D Painter and again it's the most important, most popular at the moment. So we're going to start with this in the following videos, following lessons of this course. If you want to stay updated, you can subscribe to the channel and stay updated. You can also join the channel if you want to support us. and. Um, help us to create more videos like this and uh, we're gonna go through um, step by step we're gonna increase the level of difficulty we're gonna go through the the substance 3d uh, software and uh, that's it and you can already check the other courses in the channel about 3d design sculpting painting uh, graphic design wherever you will find adobe photoshop after effects and all the others uh, most important uh, adobe software in the channel and also the most important 3D uh, modelers and 3D renderers that are in the market. Just go in the playlist and search for them or go in the homepage of the channel. So thanks for watching this uh, guide. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks and see you in the next.